In John 12, their faith wavers. Check this out. In verses 12 to 18, their faith is strong. They're like people are meeting and they're shouting Hosanna. The whole world's coming to them. And get this, 20 verses later, five days later, they're all running around going, um, I don't really know the guy and I don't want to be public about it. You know, they go from strong faith to wavering faith in like 20 verses in five days, okay? Raise your hand if you know exactly what that feels like because it's happened to you. And, and what's interesting, if you're taking notes, write this down. Faith wavers. The facts don't. Faith wavers, but the facts don't. That's why Jesus at the triumphal entry, which is part two of this, Jesus says these words. He goes, if the people stop crying out, then the rocks will cry out. What he's saying, get this, this is kind of deep stuff, so just look at it. He is saying, if the people cry out, he's saying, that's subjective to God's real, I feel it. The people cry out, and he goes, but if they stop, the rocks will cry out. That's objective. He is saying, when people stop saying Jesus is Lord, he's still Lord. Amen. Another way to put it is this. Y'all ready? Okay, this, he said, Jesus is saying, I am Lord, whether you like it or not. I am Lord, whether the government likes it or not. I am Lord, whether Hollywood likes it or not. I am Lord, whether the politician or likes it or not. And when you're going through tough times, he's still Lord. And when your kids have walked away from God, he's still Lord. And when you don't feel like it and you feel like God's a million miles away, Jesus, tells, it was Jesus saying, I got good news for you. The facts never waver when your faith does. I'm still Lord. Does this make sense? And if you get this, it will give you a much more solid faith, which will strengthen your life and strengthen everything about you. And you don't have to be afraid anymore. 